weird things happen on a baseball field. The story actually started in Detroit. Ball players never forget. It's part of the game. That's how it ended sometimes. 1983, I'm playing for the Yankees. Billy Martin's the manager. And we go into Chicago. We're playing at Comiskey Park one night, and I'm playing third base. The third base in Comiskey is close to the White Sox, the home team dugout. They were on the third base side. So if they happen to yell anything anytime, I can, I can pretty much hear what's, what's going on. Well, we've got Dave Rigetti pitching for us, and you know, big, strong left-hander threw hard and cruising along for about five innings. It's a close game. And, uh, White Sox hitter Big Bull Lazinski comes up to the plate in about the fifth inning. And all of a sudden, Rigetti just lets one go and it hits Bull right between the shoulder blades. I mean, just drills him in the back. And I'm thinking, man, I wonder what that was about. Well, immediately, Tony La Russa, the manager for the White Sox, a bunch of the White Sox guys are yelling at Rigetti, you know, where you get you, where you get one of your guys, you know, thinking that Rigetti threw at him on purpose. I said to myself, man, I, I don't remember that Lozinski did anything to Rigetti. Rigetti wasn't real wild that day, but he could get wild. I'm, I'm not sure he was still on him, but that was kind of weird. I don't blame him for being a little bit mad. I'd, I wouldn't want to be the third hitter up next inning. And the reason I was thinking that is because, you know, generally in baseball, the old uh, kind of rule book is if you want to get retaliate in any way by hitting somebody on the other team after your guy gets hit, you try to get the first two guys out so it's as harmless as potentially possible. And then drill the third guy, and then try to get the third out. And you don't want to hit the first guy's start at the beginning, right? So I'm thinking, I don't want to be the third guy out. Let's see, who's, who made the last out? Let's see, let's see it was Mattingly. So then it's uh, Winfield, and then it's Panella, and it, well, yeah, I'm the third guy. <laughs> oh, man. So I, we, we get him out, we go into the, in the dugout, I'm in the hall. I, and I bat my helmet, and Winfield's up, and I'm going, come on, Dave, get a hit, get a hit, get a hit. Because <laughs> they won't hit anybody with a guy on base, right? And, and he grounds out, now Pinella's up, and I'm, I'm on deck, and I'm like, come on, get a hit, get a hit, get a hit. <laughs> he pops up, it's two outs, so I, I walk up there, I'm feeling like the designated target now. I'm just pretty sure after how much yelling had been going on from the White Sox dugout that they're going to do something. So I wound up, Carlton Fisk is the catcher for the White Sox at the time, and, and I've known uh, Pudge a little bit, for, you know, pretty well here and there, and played against him a long time. I walk up to start to dig into the box a little bit, and I look down at, uh, at Pudge, he's in his squat behind the plate, and I say, hey, Pudge, how you doing? He looked up at me and said, better than you are. <laughs> the next pitch hit me right in the knee. <laughs>